all right i'll make this video quick as possible excuse the mess i'm in the process of moving 965 ls3 t56 watt truck stops cross member modified t56 cross member i'm doing a crown vic dry shaft swap i have extended arms upper and lower upper and lower 3c fab non-adjustable me personally once they on there they shouldn't be messed with but you know uh you're gonna need four you're gonna need a 15 for these two bolts on each side two here two here it's gonna be two here up there in the front there's gonna be two right there and then also two on the other side over there and then you're gonna need an 11 and that's gonna take out those four right there two at the top two at the bottom after that slide your dry shaft out <laughs> You see it's dripping a little bit, but I mean, that's all that came out. Really none is none at all. I'd just rather be safe than sorry. And uh, I have the Jackson holding up the training. Get the car lifted as high as you can. Put them Jacksons here for real for you. You want that car falling over your head. There are some little pins on the side. Before I even touch it, this is the dry shaft. This is the uh, Impala dry shaft, 2000 Crown Vic aluminum dry shaft, and then this is the difference on them as far as length goes from here to here. So it's make up that inch that you, uh, you know, from the extended arms. You're going to take your yoke off the LT training and put it on the Crown Vic. You're going to take your yoke off your uh, dry shaft, put it on the Crown Vic aluminum dry shaft, and then you're going to need these, uh, give me a quick second if I can find them. You're going to need the U-joints. I don't know what the hell I did with them. The part numbers are 355. The part number are 355. You need two. It's uh, one for the front, one for the rear. Snatch those out real quick. Here, one right here. That's the part number. 355. Got them from, uh, I can't get this down thing to focus. 355, that's the part number from O'Reilly's. And then you just uh, slap one here. The way you snatch these out, there's some clamps in there. Just Take a screwdriver, snatch the clamps out. These ones right here, you just, the new mug's pretty, you just snatch them off. And it'll fall off from the sides. Put one here. Put another here, take off that joint. The U joint, put it on here, and then slap it back in. And I say you should get this uh, balance just to be on the safe side. And that's about it. So, stay tuned.